Hello, not sure how to start this off, but let's get to it. To start, I do have to state this. These messages are running on a battery-powered tape recorder, so don't worry about it stopping midway. I want to thank you for coming in to look at our paranormal problem with our animatronics. I'm very grateful that you're doing this. I'll explain more about what happened tomorrow night as I am on a time crunch, but for now I'll give you the basics. First, I need to remind you of the legal mumbo-jumbo, since this is an alleged haunted place that you're researching. Since you signed the quote-unquote we're not responsible document, I'll paraphrase it again on call. LE's LLC is not responsible for death or injury to you. We're also not responsible for damage to any property owned by you. Now, with that out of the way, we can talk about ghosts. Now, you're currently in our office, which we've turned into a paranormal center with cameras. Kind of cool, you know? You can flip into the cameras, and from there you have windows. You can click around the map to go to different cameras, and you can also move the windows around to how you view fit. Plus, you can hire or show them. Pretty neat stuff. Oh, right. About those cameras, we're running everything on a single CPU, which can get overwhelmed easily. It's best not to stress the system out, as it'll crash if you overload it. You'll need to reboot the entire system if a crash happens, as uh, whatever camera that went out is disabled unless you pull the reset lever on your left. It's near the desk, but don't pull it unless you absolutely need to, because it is a limited use tool, which I can assure you will work again after one use. It'll shut down the building's power and reboot the whole system, fixing whatever cameras are out. Still, it is a limited use tool, so don't abuse it. You can also turn off the main lights, and once they're out, you can flash the hall lights to see what's down them. Just try to keep the lights on as much as possible. It's not safe to leave them off for too long. Tonight you might see two of our cast members, Joe the Pirate and Hunter the Farmer. They're themed to be good examples. Joe is an example of why stealing is wrong, and Hunter knows how to eat him. Now, if Joe comes into your office, he likes to go through the vent. Should he do that, you'll need to turn off the lights. Joe's eyes will light up red, and he'll start searching left and right for you, so you must turn on the lights when he stops moving his head, and he must be looking away from you with his eyes not lit up. If you wait too long or turn the lights on and his eyes are red, he'll spot you, and who knows what unspeakable things will happen. As for Hunter, he'll make his way down your office through the right side. Should he enter, he likes to be noisy, and you'll hear fast metallic footsteps. Once you hear them, turn off the lights, and as soon as the running stops, flash the hall lights as soon as possible. Alright, I'll leave you to it. Good night, and good luck.
Oh hey, day two, good job. So, I saw some of the stuff on the cameras last night when I looked at them. Pretty strange, right? Now, I said I would speak more about this place and what happened since you're from out of town. And you probably don't know what really happened besides a few murmurs here and there. Back in 1983, we had an incident where a man in a blue suit came in. He shot two people, one being a young girl named Emma, and then himself. This incident hurt our reputation. But what did further damage was the claims of ghosts haunting this place. From shadow figures to footsteps to the animatronics acting strange, it made families too scared to come here. But we've been looking for help with this because it's really starting to hurt our business. Speaking of shadow figures, ever since that event we've had two of them. Still, the other one only comes out later when he, I guess, gets to know the people better. Still, the other one, which we think is the ghost of Emma, the child who was murdered here, if you do happen to see her, she seems to not like being looked at, as creepy and odd as that is. We've noted looking at her scares her off, I guess. She's been spotted in the cameras and your office's hallways, so like I said before, if you see her anywhere, either on the cameras or in the office, just look at her and she'll go away. Now since you've been here for a night, the ghosts, I think, are shy. But since you're going to be here for a week, they'll start coming out more, so be wary of that. Anyways, I'll talk to you later. Good night.